you're new here, hi, I'm Glenda, and this furniture makeover starts right now. Since I'm barely on my third flip since having my baby, I was wanting to hold off on doing anything large so that I wouldn't feel overwhelmed. But when I came across this dresser on Facebook Marketplace for only $10, there was no way that I could pass it up and I was crazy if I did. Most of the drawers were lined with paper that I got rid of, of course, and then I vacuumed out any loose dust or dirt. The first thing I did after removing the drawers was label the back so that I wouldn't have to struggle with finding the right slots for them. As someone who avoided doing this just because it was just not a thought that would come to my mind, I would suggest always doing this. Do not skip this step because it definitely makes a difference of saving time from trying to find where the drawers belong in the end. I used some dish soap to wipe everything down really good. Since I want this to be more of a beginner friendly painting tutorial, I am going to be using an all-in-one paint, which is why I wanted to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Duel. Duel has this wood furniture paint that doesn't require any sanding, priming, or sealing unless in high traffic areas where you want or need more protection. This makes it great because it cuts down on the amount of time needed to flip a piece without sacrificing any of the results, finish, or durability. For someone like me who's barely getting back into the swing of things post baby, we know how limited nap times can be. And that's the only time I'm able to come out here and actually work. So this makes it a lot easier for me to be able to start and finish a lot sooner. Their wood paint comes in several beautiful colors you can choose from. Today, I actually have three different choices that I'm gonna be choosing from, amber, ivory white, and cream. I'll show you here in a minute, but all the tools that you actually need to do your first slip come in this small box. Because this doesn't require any priming, sanding, or sealing, the tool requirement is minimum, which makes it for an even easier application. The other great thing about this paint is that it is a water-based formula with low odor, which a lot of us are really conscious about. If you have to work indoors, this definitely makes it possible. Duo carries other lines of paints like tub and tile paint, marble countertop paint kits, front door, and even appliance paints. I always send home a small amount of paint for my clients in case any small touch-ups are needed. So an awesome product Duo provides are these touch-up pens. They come with the pen, stir stick, a pair of gloves and syringe for each pen, and this would make it even easier for your client to touch up any areas if they needed to. Simply pull up your paint, unscrew the back end, dispense the paint into that separate piece you unscrewed and screwed it back on. Once it's secured, a few clicks and the paint dispenses at the tip and you can touch up any area. I'll have a link down in the description for you to check them out. Thank you again to Duo for sponsoring today's video. I really like the original hardware and to try and keep costs as low as possible for this book, I'm going to be reusing them.
The top and ears seem to be in really good condition, so I sanded back down from the old finish, as well as the side post and the bottom. I had a couple of veneer repairs to do like this one drawer. I made sure to put tape on that piece of wood that I used to clamp down to avoid it getting stuck onto the veneer. This other side had more humidity water damage that I was going to have to try and flatten back out before gluing it. To do this, I ironed over it with a dampened rag and once the veneer was soft and pliable i got a couple of boards along with some added weight to put on top to help make it dry flat then once it was dry i was able to glue it back together Some of the drawers also needed some wood filling. There was a few spots where the old finish had cracked and was raised, so I sanded those back down smooth just so you wouldn't see the difference once I painted over it. While the piece was on its side, I took the time to clean the bottom before coming back and sanding down the wood filler. To help lighten the sanded wood parts, I used some wood bleach with a chip brush and once it was dry, I cleaned it off really good. Since water does raise the grain a little bit, I sanded once more in what felt like the millionth time, but just a quick pass over with a high grit. I was pleasantly surprised at how fast I was able to paint all of the drawer fronts and how smooth the paint dries. 
itself levels really well, although it may look a little bit more textured when you first apply it. My idea for this dresser was to do a paint wash over the exposed wood areas, but I quickly realized that I was not liking the way it was looking at all. I was really disappointed as soon as I even started the wash on the top, but I did it anyway to see if maybe I would change my mind. The next morning, I still was disappointed, didn't like it, so I decided to sand away the wash I did on the bottom base portion and paint over all of the other areas that I had paint washed. So essentially, at this point, I had changed my mind from doing like a two-toned wood look to basically painting the entire dresser and leaving only the bottom base legs exposed. In between coats, I cleaned the hardware using equal parts water and vinegar boil and scrubbing them with some steel wool. I dried them off and then sprayed them with some gold spray paint followed by antique gold rub and buff. Although the rest of the dresser didn't need a top coat, I did have to seal the bottom wood portion with some polyurethane since there was nothing protecting it. Now let's remember what we started with and what this dresser used to look like. And what it looks like now. What are your thoughts? I am curious to know if I should have done something different. Be sure to check out my full furniture flipping playlist as well as my other DIY projects if you enjoy these types of videos. I love y'all, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!